data plate above the placard, like I was saying. Oh, it helps if I got my keys out of the ignition. Um, and uh, had a good taxi run today. Put a couple uh, tents on the engine. And we also today did redid the exhaust. So we have the springs on top now. So uh, that was me and uh, Scott Griffith. Appreciate you, brother. He is, uh, he's got a welding unit, a MIG welder. So we got this all set. Anyway, getting ready to close up shop and go on home. But uh, hopefully FAA inspection next week and uh, get this thing flying. Windshield uh, stopper, uh, windshield, windshield uh, thing here. Um, and all it is is just a primer line, a 1 8 inch primer line that I cut in the middle. So it's going on here. I have my inspection on Wednesday. Today is Monday. Pretty excited to get everything wrapped up, get the inspection. I'll keep you guys posted. <music>
then another week we'll just come back out and just check those items and we'll be good to go pretty proud of myself here for my first safety wire of prop bolts uh, when you do this so my little two cents Again, I am not the professional, but I did watch a YouTube video. Everybody's a pro on YouTube, right? So what you wanna do is you want these to kind of make an S. Now this is the two, two, two pattern. You can do one, two, three, one, two, three, and uh, either one was okay for me. So I just did the two, two and two. Uh, it was a little bit easier. Um, well, it seemed, seemed to be, maybe it's not, but, but basically the idea is these kind of make like, a, like an S. And so you want to go in the direction of rotation to tighten the bolt. So um, it comes through here, it pulls here. Um, I, you use a little safety wire um, twister tool, whatever they call this. And uh, this is about 25 bucks from Aircraft Spruce. Anyway, uh, you, you put it around here, you pull it, you get about seven twists per inch. Uh, this is 32 thousandths, by the way. And then you just come around this way and um, and then that's that's on the, the bolt is just a little bit uh, interesting position here but anyway it's pulling this way to turn it pulling this way to turn it same with this so I think it looks pretty good it just depends on where your bolt position or your where your drill heads are to where how it looks but it, it should look like an S so I've done that today what else did I do I did um, some uh, some of my bolts I put some of these in so they have more than two threads showing. Again, you gotta have that more than two threads, two or three uh, threads showing on out the end of the, the nuts on all your bolts. And so I had a couple that weren't, and I, I think they were the correct bolt. It's just the way that uh, there was an option where I could have put this. Uh, well, this, this is gonna be, you gotta have it, but it could have been the placement of my bracket. It could have been on the vertical right there. It could be, um, if you do the straight brackets, then, uh, you know, the bolt's gonna basically, um, uh, it needs to be uh, uh, an AN3, I think it was an AN37, no, I'm sorry, AN310A bolt is what they were. So you could go from AN37s to AN310As if you're doing an Excalibur, Excalibur here. Anyway, I've got it on its tail just to help me with that, but now I can, I can put it up. It's pretty easy. Just one hand, now it's on its nose. You know it's in CG, by the way, if you do that. According to Tom, if you lift it up and it and it goes, and then it comes back down. I might have had that in the video, in another video, I'm not sure. But you just, with one hand, like this. Set on its tail, and it stays. <laughs> now it's like a, it's like the one on its tail, or the one where, yeah, you have to get in it and have it go down. But the cool thing is, is as soon as you push it down, again, it's in CG. It's pretty cool. So I did that. Um, I have to cut a hole for um, for the, um, the nose wheel spring. So they didn't like it the way it was up on that. And I guess that makes sense if I had a hard landing, uh, which I'm not gonna ever do, of course then um <laughs> then then i obviously could break my fiberglass there i could crack so um i think the design looks better because it keeps it smooth underneath but i'll just cut a small little hole around there to to allow it to come through so i'll do that and um i think the other day i i, I got the velcro for the back of this so there's some velcro on there um i'm gonna bleed the brakes again today like i mentioned and uh, yeah, so I got the bolts in. Oh, here's another bolt that I had to do. So right back here, this one, there weren't enough threads showing. So I got a, um, that's an AN427A, I think is that one. Just slightly longer threads. The shank is good. All right. And if you hadn't seen it, I put some uh, red RTV up on there just to help with vibrations. And my buddy Scott Griffith, he did the safety wiring, so it looks really good. All right, so a few more things to do. Uh, like I said, bleed the brakes. I'll check my list, but hopefully I'm done today, and I can get get uh, Brad out here next week to 
Finish the inspection.